Hi everyone and welcome back. So before moving further, I also, I want to cover one more example on the subscription and this is fairly simple than the previous one. We don't have a big schema and we have a simple mutations and a simple subscription. Okay. So what this example is, it's talking about user entity, update, delete and create. Okay. And from these mutations, we will be publishing and we will be writing the subscriptions. Okay. So this is the user. Type user has nothing but is and name. Create user is having this add user input with the name and age. And the type user has these two attributes. So you can see there is a query which is giving us the list of all the users. The mutations to update, create, delete. And then there is a subscription we have written which is listening for all those kind of events on the user entity. So user subscription is a type mutation is of type string and data is of type user okay so this mutation should be of type mutation type uh, this is wrong yeah mutation is of mutation type which can be created updated deleted okay and these are the resolvers resolver means the query definition it returns all the list of users we have and then we have update user delete user and create user now from these mutations what we are doing is we are able to access the pubsub from the context context.pubsub here you can see uh, here we are accessing pubsub I mean we don't have multiple files so we created a pubsub on the top and we are using this pubsub only otherwise what you can do is you can pass the pubsub in the context here in the resolver definition you can pass the context and then you can access this uh, pubsub in the context but that is fine so here we are doing pubsub.publish user event and this is the payload mutation type is added created deleted okay and this is our simple subscription definition in the schema this is lo looking for the user subscription and it has subscribe methods right uh, simple logic and like we have create user update user they are publishing this kind of event pubsub.publish user created user deleted and user added right so once you start this application once you do all these mutations like add user delete user update user and if you are listening for this subscription which is like user uh, and it is just returning a simple payload if you see this on the top the subscription is just returning the user subscription payload so if you subscribe for if you start listening for all the events coming for the user subscription you will receive this payload with the mutation and uh, user data okay just another example just to explain and make it more clear these are the mutations this is the query because GraphQL is all about query mutation and subscription query and mutations are simple queries for reading the data where you can list all the users, return a single user, return a multiple users. Mutation is all about updating the state of the user and subscription is all about watching onto the state of a particular entity like user, posts, comments, a particular post, I mean watching for a particular post ID, watching for a particular uh, post having uh, updates on the comments, right? All these different kind of subscription can happen. Okay, I hope like this example uh, is I will put the reference the github link this I got from the github only So this is just for Making it more clear now from the next uh, video We are going to talk more about yoga graphql and make it more structured and we are going to talk about some advanced concepts of graphql uh, before we go to the database side like graphql with a uh, uh, yoga graphql with a uh, mongodb yoga graphql with a sqlize typo prisma and all okay thanks everyone thanks for watching